So I wanted to show everybody what I picked up today at the show. And well, long and the short of it, this enclosure I picked up, which is just awesome so far. But I also got a couple of animals and I want to show those to you. I probably shouldn't try feeding them because I just got them today, but it is feeding day. So I'm going to go ahead and offer them something anyway. And I'll obviously have to dismount the camera and uh, get a little bit closer, at least to where you can see uh, what I got. Now let's see how I'm going to make this work. Oh, there it is. It's a uh, dwarf children's python. Um, I actually picked up a pair, and like I said, I probably shouldn't be try. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> I guess I probably shouldn't be attempting to feed them right now because they just got here today. But uh, like I said, it is feeding day, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And let's uh, there we go. That's a little bit better, huh? Yeah, it's kind of sweet that he ate. Um, I got the children's pythons from uh, the East Bay Vivarium and I got the cage which I'm actually gonna do a little review on so we'll talk about that later but uh, children's pythons I got from East Bay Vivarium I paid $40 a piece for them just fell in love with them as soon as I saw them and yeah I guess as they say the rest is history. Well, you're loving that thing, aren't you? Now, I've never had any children's pythons before, and uh, when I was there, I was actually looking for something, I guess, new, something I hadn't had before, something different, and uh, these guys, or this guy and girl, kind of uh, just kind of jumped out at me so so far they're just awesome they're just sweethearts there was uh, one of them there that was real real nippy um, we didn't get that one as uh, much as his behavior was uh, laughable I guess but uh, yeah just beautiful and the reason there's no substrate down there is because that's where their house is and they were sleeping uh, underneath their house nicely before I interrupted them for some food and as you can see there I've got a uh, rock right underneath the light and we'll actually take a temperature it's up actually on the bit warm side in there as you can see 93.5 right on top of that rock so yeah I guess it's not too bad and of course I made a little makeshift uh, deal for them to climb on and on the other side focus there we go water dish and a little hide on the cold side well you look like you got some substrate in your mouth there you're not supposed to eat that stuff <laughs> um, I'm using in here um, organic topsoil and I actually I believe it was Viper Keeper I got that idea from the stuff is uh, real good it's all organic no uh, no fertilizers or anything like that inside it so where are you hiding oh there you go that one you saw a moment ago um, was the female this one here is the male. Are you hungry, guy? Oh, where'd you go? You're going the other way. That's the one bad. Ooh, you are hungry, aren't you? There you go. The 
this is the male um, like I said that first one was the female just beautiful little sweethearts you got some dirt with that mouse you silly that's awesome that both of them actually took food um, the day I brought them home hopefully uh, that record will continue into adulthood You sure got a dirty mouse there. Get some of that dirt off. So there you have it. A couple of new inhabitants from the... Uh, Breeder, the Reptile Breeder Show, actually. This one was at Lodi at the Great Festival Fairgrounds. And uh, got myself a new enclosure. Got myself a uh, pair of dwarf children's pythons. And also got myself uh, three breeder setups for rodents. Um, each one of them came with three females and one male, just uh, your common old feeder mice. Uh, water bottle really really neat things I'll probably be talking about those um, momentarily in a, in a video in the future too so hope you enjoyed and soon we'll be talking about this cage that I got where are you hiding Ooh. that's gonna get edited out <laughs>